Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Tower, the Legend of a Thousand Passageways Edition. Or so I'm imagining in my head that's what's going to happen. I think the first passageway I'm going to take is that other drop that I found underneath that giant worm that I had to kill. W-Y-R-M worm, although I think that's a dragon, right? So I guess it would just be W-O-R-M worm. Whatever. Details, man. Details. No. So we're gonna take that path, and then there's this other shadow tower path down there that I need to take, so that's number two. Number three would be behind Atlas, from Atlas Shrugged. And number four would be behind, um... Well, there's a secret passage that was in the upstairs area that I found off camera at one point that I wanted to explore. So, there's lots of options of places that I need to go before I head back down into the devilish area that shouldn't be as bad now that I finally have weapons, at least for now. For now I have weapons, we'll see what actually happens. Oh. Oh, let's go this way first though, because th I haven't saved it going this way yet. Um, even though we do know about that is a death death trap for real. Yeah, because we need this soul vessel. And we need to kill this poison breathing dude. You know what would be the worst thing ever? If, uh, there are enemies who broke your weapons in this game? There probably are, and I'm just foretelling that. I'm foretelling it. There's going to be enemies that do that to increase the break percentage of your weapons, and they're going to be my least favorite enemies in the game. I already know it. Blood vomit teeth, guys. One of you made a great comment. I'm sorry, it's been a while, so I'm sorry I don't remember who, but one of you made a great comment that. The reason they don't brush their teeth is because they have no arms. They just can't. It's so sad. They're just forced to rot, and they have stinky breath. It's a vicious cycle. A very... Ooh. I picked something off, off the ground. I think it was like gloves or something, if I remember. I'll have, to, I'll have to watch my last let's play. It's been a little while, and I apologize for how long it's been. Um, actually, let's go use this soul vessel, and as I'm doing that, I'll kind of explain why, as this is sort of my chance to talk about it. Uh, let's find it. Soul pod. Alright, we're gonna want some more strength, some more speed, some more defense, some more balance, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I'm going with, I like strength and the idea of strength specifically, so I feel like if I kill an enemy quicker, and the quicker I can pull that off, the less likely my weapon is to break. <laughs> That's really where my mind is at right now. Defense, eh, I don't care. Eh, doesn't matter to me. Does not matter in the least bit. Oh yeah, so why it's been a while. Let me take a sip of water first. Sit down, I got quite the tale to tell. And by quite the tale to tell, I mean not really that much. So basically, uh, every so often, if people are curious about what I do, um, I come from entertainment. That's that's what I've worked in in the past, and I still freelance from time to time. And especially right now, um, ad revenues were really ridiculously low in January, so I made a whole lot of nothing. Oh, I finally got poisoned. Damn, I'm going to have to use a poison vaccine, something to cure it. Cure is poison. Oh, I've got a million antivenoms. I guess it doesn't matter that much. Alright, one of these holes. So anyways, I come from entertainment, and I, in order to make ends meet every so often, I have to pick up a freelance gig. So that is exactly what I just did. Uh, I picked up a freelance gig that's going to be a few weeks long, and it's just insane. It's like 12-hour days. Well, 10 to 12-hour days at least. And every day. And I've worked this week, for example, I worked six days a week. So really busy. I'm trying to do my best, my absolute darndest, to... Ooh. A secret entrance. It is a secret to us all. That's from Zelda. Um, <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Did You Know Gaming lately. And, uh, listening to it on my commute. Just, just listening, I swear. <laughs> just listening. Um, oh yeah, so anyways, this gig though, it's basically 10 to 12 hour days. I'm working on a TV show that I don't think I can say the name of it yet. It's all like, you can't say anything on social media, you're not allowed. I, it's not the biggest deal in the world, but I don't think. But point is, it's a few weeks long for a gig, and that is what I've been doing. That is what I've been up to. 
And it kind of sucks a lot because there are a lot of videos I had planned that I was really excited to have time to work on before Bloodborne came out. Because when Bloodborne comes out, that's going to be a lot of my focus. But like, for example, I've finally been making progress on editing my Kingsfield lore video. Um, a couple other videos I had planned that I really want to get it done by, you know, before Bloodborne came out. And I just don't know how much time I'm going to have to do that at the moment. I'll still do my best. But these upcoming few weeks are just going to be insane. So I apologize if my uploads are a little bit lacking for the time being. But that is why. Um, I'll say that in my spare time, I've been working my ass off. My, my booty off on my next super show, which is the Mega Man one. I think this is the one I came from. But let me just check and make sure. Wait a second. Oh, cool. All right, so that just wrapped around. So remember how I was wondering where this whole, like, fall would come from before? That's where it was. All right, there we go. Everything aligns perfectly. It's a beautiful thing when I un get lost. I'm lost and I unlose myself. All right, well, that's good. I don't think I picked up a soul vessel, but I just want to check on that. Double, triple check. I know I got a healing potion, which I could probably actually use one of those. More Dorado's Ashes. I got four now. This is the best day of my life. Uh, d -d -d Let's see where it's at. Nine out of 18. Okay, well, let's just keep on using it for the time being. I mean, it tells you when it's low, so at least now that I know what that status is. That status symbol. So, and then hopefully I can get a better weapon, equip that to my reserve slot and then actually kill up two items at once when I go ahead and use it. Alright, so we're gonna go back down, but I'm probably should just save it first. Let's go ahead and save it first. Just so if I do die, which I don't imagine is gonna happen, but so if I do die, I don't want to have to re-get all of those things I just got. So yeah, as far as the... So yeah, I've been working my ass off on the next Super Show, and the good thing is I found out I got this gig... Uh, about a week before, actually, I guess it was four days, four days before I got on it. And I was like, okay, I gotta make sure I get everything done with the Super Show ready in place so I can just edit when I have free time. Because at least that's not something where I have to go through and produce and shoot and things like that, which it's just a different beast where it's hard to time that out. And it's like you need to specifically have at least four to six hours to shoot. Like, I think shooting takes. Yeah, like up to six hours to shoot all the shots I need for the super shows. I mean, it can be more. It can be longer. When I do outdoor shoots, it's basically two days. Because one day I do an out the outdoor shoot, and then another day I do the indoor stuff. It just really depends. But uh, this particular one is mainly indoors. So, oh, that's a spoiler, I guess. Oh, no! So, point is, before, my, before everything started with this crazy long hours gig, I... Basically, I got all my shooting done. I got all my voiceover work done. I've th I basically ha have all the gameplay footage I need. I think there's like a couple makeup things I'll probably want to grab tomorrow. Just minor, ma minor makeup things. But for the most part, I have all my gameplay recorded. I've just started editing it and actually been making progress on the editing. So that I'm at least making progress on. I really do want to get a Kingsfield lore video done for you guys, though, before at least one of them before Bloodborne comes out. And I've been hoping to make another Bloodborne preparatory video, so we'll see if that ends up happening. And, I mean, yeah, there were a lot of things I had planned, so we'll see what happens with all of those. The other thing is I definitely do need to finish the Dark Souls Let's Play before Bloodborne comes out. That's something that's really high up on my list, just getting that VO recorded. Because that was so long ago, I want to get that finished. Alright, well, let's talk about this game now that we're actually... Whoa, holy crap. Holy crap. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave, and I'm going to come back in so they're not just facing me immediately. And also give myself a little bit more health. Alright, so let's go ahead and drop some of that health. Because I got so much. Woo! Look at that health. 1,896. I feel like a beast with all my health. Probably not actually that much, but it feels like a lot. That's a high number. All right. Didn't work quite as well as I was hoping, but what's she gonna do? All right. Uh. No. Oh my God! I can't believe I just missed him that badly. Okay, there we go. 
That was awful. Oh, come on. I got stuck on the pole. There we go. All right. You need to get out of here, eyeball. There. Scream! Scream! Looks like metal boots. Oh. I did not notice that guy at all. At all, I say. Oh no, oh no, what the f- Oh no, I can't- I literally cannot move. I can't pause it, there's- Oh, come on, can I take out my shield? Nope. This is the worst- Oh. Okay. Um... I don't know what this is. I, if I pause it, maybe that means I'm cured of this? Yeah, it does mean I'm cured of this. What creature gave me that status effect? So I cannot have that ever happen again. Okay, first thing is we need boots. Where are my boots? Now that I can hopefully equip them. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe that's why I picked up with the hard boots. Well, we got steel boots of resist. Oh, those are the ones that are broken. We got steel boots normal. And they are and they are good. Although, does it? Yeah, whoops. I'm over encumbered now. Yeah, so that's what it turned out to be with why I was getting my health drained was because when you get over encumbered, it drains your health. Oh, there it is. In the equip slot, you can see now I'm 964 point. Oh, I'm still over encumbered. I actually should probably unequip the hard boots just so I'm not over encumbered. It really drains your health fast. Okay, let's find out what the hell that creature was that paralyzed me. What's, what? Oh, there it is. That looks really creepy from here. I gotta say. Like, look at it. Like, giant gangly arms. Just creepily in the distance. Oh, it's not as creepy as it looked from... From far away, it looked a lot creepier. Now it just looks like a big goofy tree. Like, one that you would see in a typical horror book of like, Here's a scary tree! <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like to me. Hey, guess what, tree? I've got an axe. I'm gonna chop you down. I just realized how ironic that is as I was saying it. Like, yeah? <laughs> yeah? You're a tree. I have an axe. It's your worst nightmare. That's what you get for being a paralyzing D-bag. Uh, at least he gave me a health potion back for the one it made me use and waste. Alright, which way do we want to go first? Ooh, a sword! This looks like an awesome sword. Taking it. And I'm going to equip it. Or put it in my reserve slot so I can give it more health. Okay, I think this is where I came from. I think. Yes, okay, it is. Just so I have my ball bearings of where I was at for this exploration we're about to embark on. Alright, right hand. Ooh, the durability is really low on this at this point. Alright, let's see how this new sword is. I got a broadsword, which is even better, plus 42. 42, way better. All right, let's go ahead and equip the broadsword. And then in the reserve hand, we're going to equip the axe. And there we go. So now, whenever I use that restoration, Dorado's Ashes, I'll get twice as much. Twice as much for my money's worth. And actually, I should probably equip some boots whenever I use it. I'll have to try to remember that. I wonder if it heals something that has zero durability. I don't, oh wait, it can't because I can't equip it. All right, let's... Ooh, nice. Just like Kingsfield, gotta check those barrels. Somebody broke that barrel. What a jerk. Okay. Oh. I didn't even mean to open that. I was just trying to check the barrels. But I guess I'll go through. I should be probably taking a right so I could just be taking all rights here. Okay. Oh, more of these guys. Ugh. Not a fan. Not a fan. At least I got a broadsword this time to try and take him out a little bit faster. Okay. Hopefully that was the only one in this room. Oh, uh, nope. Okay, what is that noise? Oh, one of these guys. I'm gonna stabby stab garden gnomes. Oh, he's not a stabby stab one. It's just a general garden gnome. A Kuhn! I feel like I'm being racist every time I say that. You know what? I actually didn't know that was a racist thing until, like, I was in grad school. I just, I never knew. Sometimes there really is a thing, I think, ignorance is bliss, in a way. Not, uh, I, I guess I should say, like, 
I don't know. It, it kind of sucked learning that because I really like raccoons. I think they're really cool. So it's like, man, that sucks. I kind of like that nickname. I think it's a cool nickname. Um, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, coon is a really bad racial slur to say, and I never knew until grad school. And that is what I'm currently referring to. All right, let's go check the justice scales and see what, what we can buy. I actually think it sounds cool, though. I know it has horrible connotations. What's a human doing here? No, just chatting. want to chat you up. Say hello. How you doing? Okay, so this is for an MP potion now. Well, that's good to know. So I guess the male one is for HP potions, and I think that's a female one, so that would be MP potions with her. Oh, other thing is apparently I'm supposed to kill that guy. So thank you guys for the advice. I'm supposed to kill the uh, that guy. Like, that really explains it. I'm supposed to kill the person who, uh, the gnome person who was a dick about the poison. Yeah, so thank you for that advice. I really do appreciate that. So that's another thing I have to do. Oh yeah, so the whole thing I was saying with, uh, that slur with Kuhn. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't think saying it on its own is bad. It's not like, eh, I don't think. So, it's like, I don't know, like the word gringo to me, I guess. Gringo is supposed to be a slur against white people. But I don't know. I think the word sounds really cool. It's, if someone were to call me a gringo, I'd be like, yeah, damn straight I am. Even if they were to be like, you gringo. Actually, that sounds cool too. You know, like in the really mean sounding, the way they say it, I'd be like, yeah, I am. How about that? Oh. I almost attacked him. Please don't hurt me. I'll even give you this key here. Uh, okay. Good thing I didn't attack him. Are you sure that's a key you're giving me? Whoa, what is this key? Oh, now he's walking away. See, that's why you don't always just attack everybody right away. And he walked away. What a cool guy. He just literally walked through a wall. This one didn't even have a hole to go through. At least the groundhog thing. Or the, uh, it wasn't the groundhog. The, uh, well, whatever it was. The armadillo. I think it was an armadillo. The armadillo had a hole to go through. All right, let's see what it is. It is a brass, the iron key. Yep, iron key. Cool. All right. I got so many keys now. Beast key, iron key, jail key. I got such a massive key ring. That's not an innuendo. That, that I don't think you could even make that into an innuendo. Not even if you tried. Sorry, I'm saving again. I apologize. I get into mode sometimes with games. I guess what I should say, when I play on my own, I save basically every opportunity I can and kind of oversave. And that's sort of something I'm trying not to do with the Let's Play. But it's a little hard with the Let's Plays because I don't want to die and have to redo everything again. And like with Kingsfield, it was easy because I knew the game so back and forth that it was like, oh, well, whatever. I mean... Nothing was a big deal. <laughs> it was all just seemed pretty easy to me. What the hell? Oh. No, seriously though, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> what are these things? This game is really is horror in a lot of ways. I mean, these guys aren't that creepy, but they're very odd looking. I gotta say, this is like one of those things... Oh, I finally got a ring! It's my first ring! It's like I just graduated high school and bought the school ring. I didn't actually know that. No one in my high school had school rings or ever got school rings. And it's like, I never even knew that was a thing until my senior year of high school. I was like, you get and get your high school ring! And I was like, really? People do that for high school? I never knew. Maybe back in the day people did it for college, but I never thought of it as being a high school thing. I want everybody to know my high school that I went to forever. It's ingrained. Forever. Oh, oh, uh oh. Where is this guy hopping around? There he is. There you are. What does this ring do that I picked up from one of you? More importantly. 
Alright, let's just keep on exploring, and then I'll do it once I finish exploring this room. Oh, there's so many passageways! Now I want to go up and kill that dwarf that I was talking about. Okay, I think this is the door. Yeah. We're gonna keep on playing at lefties, so... Next thing is going to the left again. But, as I said, I'll equip the ring. Also check how bad my sword is at now. Five with its durability. It really is going by fast. Alright, let's go with a ring. Ring of poison. Don't know what that does. I'm assuming it helps... Oh. Great, since it's almost broken, it's gonna show me this the whole time. I was using, hoping to utilize that for my sword. Oh my god, what the... What the... Wow! Wow, that caught me off guard. I can imagine a giant stone thing is probably not good for durability of a weapon. That would make sense to me. No, it's level 4. Alright, well that was crazy. That's like one of the puzzle pieces from Zelda, a Zelda game, just all of a sudden attacking you. And you're just not expecting it. Get! Mm, get! Get! And it's like creepy per se, it just caught me off guard for the first one I found. And they're quick. Very quick. More, uh, what? What? You got a giant butt. I'm just saying. Look. Just throwing that out there, you've got a giant butt. Oh. Oh, apparently their giant butt spews poison? Well, that's good to know. I don't know why the other one's giant butt wasn't spewing poison. But okay by me. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and use my A Dorado's Ashes. I'm tired of seeing that thing on my screen. This should heal everything. Oh! But, I'm gonna remember. Gonna remember to equip my boots first. Oh, uh, look. My durability is, like, gone, gone. Alright. Boots are equipped. Let's also equip, uh... Let's also equip a shield. You know what I just realized, too? It's gonna make me feel really stupid. But I'll say it anyways. I sh could... Oh, whoops. I could unequip one of my the weapon I have in my reserve slot, and that way I would have enough to equip, or enough way to equip boots, which might not be a bad idea. All right, let's see where I'm at now. Whoops. And we gotta wait for all this. Well, while we're in here, let's find out about the broadsword. Why blade a one-handed sword? All right. Oh, maybe the ring. That'll be a good one. Ring with poison magic. HP drain 3. Poison attack 70. Oh, it only raises durability up to 4. Where's this one at? 5? It's actually really not raising them up that much. 7 out of 18. Alright, maybe I'll re-equip the axe. Just to be... Just to do the thing... Where I don't wear out the durability as quickly. I'm gonna use one Dorado's Ashes before I do... Or one more. And we'll switch our items around. Alright, let me go equip. Let's see. Equip the axe. Whoops. Let's unequip anything in this hand. So that way I have a little more space. And... Where's my axe at? I should probably just start using these short swords and wearing them out, actually. Let's go with short sword. I'll equip the fiery sword shield, and then let's also equip uh, steel boots. I'm still over with that. And there we go, hard boots. I'm good. All right. We'll do. We'll play this way for now. Now what's almost broken? Oh, my sword is. Of course, of course. Should have remembered. Ooh, soul vessel. Always worth a trip if I can get a soul vessel. Alright, let's use one of those now. Back into the item inventory slot area. Soul pod. One, two... Sure. So more strength. More strength! More strength! Feeling so good finding all these soul pods. I can't wait to go buy the one that gives me a huge amount of upgrades. Okay. Gotta keep sticking to the left. 
That's the way to do this. It's the only way. Oh, great! Hi! Just what I was hoping for. At least, I guess, as long as I stay far enough away from him, I'll be fine. I mean, if he paralyzes me, it's not like it's gonna matter. Unless I'm close enough for him to hit me. Oh no! What am I gonna do? Give you a thank you gift. Oh, <laughs> there we go. See, sword just broken four hits. That was from two to zero durability. That was kind of my point I was talking about before, with using so like weaker weapons against these enemies. It's just gonna break really quickly. I mean, sure, I'll preserve my other weapons, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I know it makes a difference. It's just not a huge difference in my mind. Okay. What do we got next? Wow, more of these guys. I'm so excited for that. Oh, look. Alright. Already at three durability. What do you know? Didn't this start at five when I first equipped it? That's so great. So fantastic. I wonder what's at now at this point. After all of this. Alright, so... Equip. It is at one. One durability. This is just flying through. Alright, this is probably gonna break it. I bet. Oh, there we go. It's broken. Hooray! Oh, wait. I'm not supposed to break these, am I? I'm supposed to just leave them really low. Whoops. What do you know? I'm out of... Just like I thought. Now I'm out of those short swords. So it got me about seven hits. I mean, ten hits maybe? And I, I kind of feel like I just wasted them in a way. So that's that was kind of my point before. So yeah, technically I get ten more hits, but I don't I don't think it did very much in the long run. All right, let's keep on chugging along, I guess. Surprised there aren't more paths. I'm just so used to it at this point. A crazy number of paths. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I don't want to drop down. I'm afraid of dropping down. Uh, okay, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay. Um... Perhaps this way, I suppose. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, we're back at the entrance. Holy crap. All right, that's what that was. That was a big, giant wraparound. What? Where did that... Oh! Okay. All right, did I ever explore this whole area? Let me just double check real quick. All right. I wonder if you can break these, actually. I mean... I don't think it would matter since I was getting items out of them. Let's try one more slice. One more slice. Okay. I believe I tried both of these, right? That's, this is where I just popped out of now. Well, killing those trees now feels like a giant waste because that's all it was was this wraparound. But at least we explored one path in this area. So one path is thoroughly explored, and we found the save point, so that's that's always good and useful. Alright. Two weapons broken, but one weapon acquired. So, overall, I'll take those. Okay, let me get my bearings again. Alright, where am I? Where am I? Okay, here is where I started. Here is going to be where I fell. Right? Oh shit, come on, where's the- where- okay, here we go. Here's where I fell. And here's the next entrance. And alright, let's go ahead and go... The, oh, it's another shop. Alright. I don't mind that, because I- like you guys know, I just want to go kill me a dwarf 
A deceiving, yeah. lying dwarf, so I can let go of that that crystal dude. Oh, uh, so what this is gonna be the HP potion guy, here? if I'm not mistaken. HP. Oh wait, repair item. Okay. Oh, so yeah, he's literally gonna take away my HP to repair an item. All right. So let's here heal my axe. Okay. So I guess if I just pop out and use an HP potion, that's like really good. And just can. Oh wow, that's a lot to cure that one. All right, let's go. Let's repair some of my stuff. And honestly, if I just start spending health. Watch, it's going to turn out to be permanent. But seriously, if I just start spending health and just repairing everything, I'll have a fighting chance. Oh, let's do the crown. I want that. And broadsword, definitely. And the helm. And look. All right, so I leave. And then I'll just use a full HP health potion. And you can just go to the other guys, trade your HP potions. Yeah. Oh, n oh yep, yep. At first, I was afraid that that was a permanent loss. Okay, okay, so now we have 2,000 health again, so I can literally just go through and get all my weapons re-cured uh, up, and now, I don't know, I don't feel like I have to be super ridiculously crazy about not using weapons, honestly. The only thing, hmm... Well, yeah, and if I ever need, like, an HP potion, I can sell some of my crap weapons. Like, literally, I can sell my crappy zero weapons for HP potions and then cure, cure a bunch of my weapons again. And then I have a good cycle. So this game just got way easier. <laughs> I, I really think that this game just got considerably easier because of this. So I know one of you guys was telling me about this in the comments, but... I wasn't sure if it was a permanent HP loss or not, based off of the comments, so that's what I was afraid of, given how difficult this game is. And considering that it's not, life is good. So I'm going to have to remember this spot forever, and for the rest of this game. I'm sure there's going to be more, but for now, this is super important. But, things are looking up, if I do say so myself. And with things looking up, I'm going to switch over to my... My broadsword. Look at those stats. Switch over to my broadsword. And I wonder... Uh, way too... That's too heavy. I can't equip that yet. But... Uh, is there anything else? What about my crown, maybe? Do I want to equip a crown? I wonder if that's... Oh, that's right. I have helmet, helmet now. But is the crown going to be better? Wow, that does a lot of magic related stuff. I should probably actually check what it really does. Like, it doesn't have very much defense, but its focus and spirit is crazy good. Let's go to the long loading screen. Equip info. One day I'll be able to take a look. I really hope it lets you scroll through and I'm not just stuck on the item I've equipped. Oh, good. Okay. El elaborately designed head ornament. Status recovery 5. I don't know what that means it would do. It gives me a lot more MP, though. So, that's... Oh, wow, so is my helmet. Oh, what? The helmet also raises my HP up to 2,120. That's interesting. I did not... I didn't realize that even your armor could raise your HP up. Oh, wow. This is news to me. All right, let's check to see... Uh oh Well, check to see if any of these have anything special. Critical hitting sword, critical 5, acid attack 27. All right, that was mace exceptional smashing ability. And I think that's all I wanted to check for now. Actually, let's check out these steel boots, uh, which increase magic resistance for steel boots to resist. And actually, let's check out the fire one, too. That's probably going to be a good one to look at. Large shield with fire properties. Fire defense, 12. All right. Well, with that, guys, that is going to wrap me up for this episode. And again, I apologize for some of the delays and releases, but I'll try to make sure I keep this Let's Play going at least. 
Uh, and I'm really gonna be doing my absolute best. Like I'm, I'm getting four hours of sleep every night, four to five hours of sleep every night because I've been working so hard on trying to keep up and make videos, even though I'm working 12 hour days. So I really am doing my absolute best. So I apologize for the lack of uploads lately. I'm working my hardest. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later guys. Peace.